Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we are checking out all of the builds for the Half Track Challenge. So we have some big ones, some small ones, some massive ones, a plane for some reason, uh, and there is actually loads and loads of stuff here. Today what we're going to do is have a little walk down, have a little look at each of them, uh, just from the front, and then I'm gonna pick five of them to drive out and test. So, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? So, starting out with this one right here, this looks relatively modern and actually looks really, really cool. Obviously, it is a half track, so it's got the tracks at the back, the wheel at the front, and a relatively cool crane on the back. It looks quite cool. I like the color. Looks nice. The next one is absolutely massive. It's got a million stairs on the side. It has the biggest tracks in the world and some big old wheels. That's pretty cool, too. Uh, I guess you drive it from there, you climb up in through the ladder, the engine must be huge in that thing, and the crane is massive. That's cool. Okay, the next thing is a plane with tracks, and... Uh, I mean, the half-track thing is the fact that it's a jet, and it's got tracks. Uh, <laughs> and also, it's got this thing. I, I don't really understand what's going on. There's the old logo. I, I don't know what's going on here. I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> it's just a bit weird, but I don't know. Kind of cool, I suppose. Okay, the next one came as a pair. We've actually got two of these. I guess they're both French. Um, the camo is a little bit bright, but that's okay. Obviously, they do have cranes on the back. I don't know why there's two of them, but there is. Um, and they look, you know, kind of cool. I like them. This thing is something that I was kind of wanting to see. Um, it's big. It is a big old boy. And you can see that it is actually... Uh, got a crane mounted to the top. It is a half track. Um, I don't know where you drive it from. Oh, it's like cameras and stuff. Yeah, okay, you drive through cameras. Interesting. I don't know. It's kind of cool. Different to uh, the other ones. Except that one, obviously. That one's quite different too. Alright, moving on to the next one. This one looks a little bit more all terrainy. I actually really like the idea of that. Uh, it looks like it would fit in in the sand, you know? It's actually raised quite high, so you wouldn't, you know, mash up your, uh, your gears and stuff like that, and your pipes, your prop shaft. Um, and the crane actually looks really beefy too. Look at that. I'm not sure what's going on with the next thing. This is absolutely ginormous. Why is there a bunch of windows there? Oh, it's nuclear powered. Of course it is. Uh, so, it's got a nuclear reactor. Obviously, the crane can move things around on the back. It looks like it's for containers. So, you can just drive next to it and put them on the deck. On the, on the deck uh, and just mount them on the back. Interesting. The next one right here looks a little bit modern as well. This is the MNKS, apparently. Uh, it has a crane mounted to the back, and it just looks actually really nice. I really like this one. Uh, I did see this one uh, when it was built, and um, it's lovely. It is. The next thing, this right here is, uh, it's an odd looking vehicle, but I really like the fact that it is an odd looking vehicle. Uh, so yeah, let's have a little look at the back. This has some side doors, which is quite cool. So when you want to mount things on the back, you totally can. Uh, the crane seems to be having some issues, but uh, I think we can sort that out with some uh, better physics, maybe. All right, the next one looks a little bit like a lizard, but that's okay. Uh, it has a crane on the back, and coloring is kind of cool. Is that a fuel tank mounted to the side, too? Is it on both sides? It is indeed. Interesting. This one right here looks a little bit like a, I don't know, like a, an aircraft vehicle, uh, which is quite awesome. Uh, it's obviously got the tracks on the back right there. It's called the Grove, apparently, and uh, it's got wheels, it's got tracks, it's got the engine mounted on the back, the crane is mounted on the side, and the cab is mounted on this side over here. I actually really rate this one. That's quite cool. Alright, next we have this thing. Uh, not too sure what's going on here, to be honest. Um, obviously, we got the cab down there, we've got the crane on the top. The crane operator seat is right here, and it seems to come with a trailer. This is, I think, the only one that's actually come with a trailer. Uh, that's interesting. So you can actually load things onto the back. That's quite cool. It has its own supports, and uh, the crane is massive. Might have to try that one out. I also really like the grill. That looks really good. Moving on, we have this one right here with painted headlights and painted indicators. It has a winch on the front, and it obviously has a crane on the back. Let's go ahead and climb up. Just have a little look at the crane. Uh, you control the crane via this seat right here. And honestly, yeah, pretty cool. 
The next two are actually some of my favourites. These are designed around World War II ones, and honestly, they are... They are quite big. Uh, I really like the design of the crane on this one. I think it looks really cool. Uh, and obviously the engine is massive. The entire thing is actually pretty big too. I genuinely just really like it. Also the colouring. It's quite cool. The next one is very much very similar to the one before it. And it is presumably designed around the German uh, one from World War II. So yeah, actually not too bad. The engine bay is open. I'm assuming you can actually close that. But I don't know how, so um, there you go. Moving on, here we have a very small one. Does this one even have a crane? Uh, it doesn't seem to have a crane on the back. Not sure what's going on there, but there doesn't appear to be a crane. It is a half track though. I was actually kind of looking forward to this one. It looks a little bit like a K-Van or a K-Car from uh, Japan, and it's tiny. <laughs> it's really, really small. But I really like the little diddliness of it. It's quite cool. We've obviously got all of our dials right here that we need. We have our brakes, we have our engine, and yeah, overall, just really nice. It's kind of crazy that there's an engine in that. It's really small. The next thing looks like something from robots, if you guys have ever seen that. It has a ginormous crane on the top. It actually seems to have a viewing deck for passengers and stuff in the back. Not sure what's going on back here. I'm assuming that's maybe a ramp. I'm not sure. It's very dark. It is very, very dark. And huge. That thing is massive. Stormworks International Towing Co. Yes. Oh, this thing is long. <laughs> this thing is really long. I like the front of it. I think it looks really nice. Uh, I like the colors. They're really cool. If we go to the inside, it um, does actually have a bit of an interior. And it has a really long crane on the back, just in case we needed to use it. Honestly, not too bad. I like the way that the um, tracks have a bit of support there as well. I think that actually looks quite cool, doing it like that. Nice. And finally, we got this one right here. This one seems like a modern truck with the half-track capabilities. Honestly, it is really nice. We have all of our stuff on the back, including a rifle, obviously. Uh, we have our crane, all of our crane controls right here. Uh, a million lights, interestingly enough. And a bunch more crane controls over here. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is actually grab five of my favorite ones and maybe two runners up. So let's go ahead and do that. Before we do that though, I want to say thank you to you guys that have actually submitted to this. I really appreciate it and uh, the fact that you guys have spent time doing stuff like this is awesome. Thank you. Okay, so here we have seven vehicles. Obviously, I kept the K car, we kept the two World War II ones, uh, we kept the one with the trailer, because I really am interested in the crane on this thing. Uh, we kept the airport type vehicle right there, and this one right here, as well as this guy. This one's really, really sick. I really like this one. Um, for those of you that didn't quite get here, I'm really sorry, but um, yeah, I actually really like these ones. Uh, not saying that I don't like yours. Yes. Alright, so let's go ahead and start out with this one right here. This is the MNKS Columbus Half-Track Crane. Obviously, it has a modern-ish looking design. It is pretty boxy, but actually looks really cool. Uh, I like the grill on the front. I like the lights. I like the fact that we got a winch on the side, just a little one. And I believe the crane is actually remote controlled. So, does it work in terms of having a half-track design? Yes. And does it have a crane? Yes. Therefore, it has abided by the rules and uh, is suitable. All right, let's go ahead and park up right here real quick. It has gears, which is pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and put it in park or neutral, whatever. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and light suspension mode. Interesting. Turn on the headlights if we need them. We turn off the engine right there if we need to. We have the idea of lifting up the hood in case we need to get in there. It's quite high, but there's the engine. Sick. And we also have access to the crane back here. We have supports on the sides that do fold down and fold back up. So let's go ahead and leave those down for a second and start using the actual crane. Of course, we can move it from side to side. We can move it up and down and uh, we can actually change the pulley length by pressing up and down as well. Look at that. It actually fully works. That's awesome. And just in case you need it, you can actually press the reset button and it will actually reset itself. But I do think you need the engine on uh, to do most of these things so that it generates power and stuff and things, you know? So whenever you're doing stuff, go ahead and turn on the engine, make sure it's running. And then I think this stuff will work a little bit better. So if we reset it and we lift up the crane stabilizers, they should 
Come in. There we go. So yeah, overall, I actually really, really like this off track. I think the color of it is really cool. I think the style of it is really nice. And I also think that it is actually set out really nicely too. It's just, it's just good. It is. It's really, really well built. Good job. All right, our next vehicle is this thing right here. It is the H104C Aux Lift. Uh, light armored half track. So this right here was built by Hello2345. 2345. What a lovely name. Anyway, let's go ahead and open up the door, get inside, and get it moving. Uh, if I can close that, that'd be great. There we go. Uh, ignition is right here. There we go. Headlights are right there. Let's get moving. All right, change gear if we can. Release the parking brake. Oh, okay, the parking brake is on. Uh, and it is all one gear, it seems. Okay, very good. Oh! Holy! All right, we almost tipped over, but we are good. So, size-wise, it is very similar to our other vehicle over there. Uh, in terms of its actual scale. But that's all right. Yeah. That's actually really cool. It looks like they could actually work together. That's awesome. All right, let's go ahead and get outside and take a little look at the back. We also have a light in here. Uh, and there's not actually any anything else in here. So, let's go ahead and get out. Close the door, there we go, and move to the back. So back here we have activate crane, we have extend outriggers, these guys are getting extended out, and lowered down, very nice. We can then control the crane, so crane up, there we go. Can I boom out? There you go, boom out totally works as well. Uh, we also have up, down, I guess that's for the actual winch. There we go, lovely, and crane left, and crane right if we need it. So yeah, the crane actually fully works. We also have these guys right here that do fold down. I really like the idea of this, because then you can actually, you know, transport things on the back of the truck, even if it wants to tip over. But maybe that was just my driving. What is this? Oh, we have like a little storage compartment, where you can, uh... What is that? What is, what is that? We've got like little connectors in there. That's interesting. Um, but yeah, again, scale of it, actually really cool. I like the fact that it looks really odd and weird, like an AT-AT, or an AT-ST, I suppose. Um, yeah, I like it a lot, actually. It's got a winch on the front, it has its engine right there. I don't think we've got a way of opening the front. That would be cool. And then on the back, we obviously have our indicators and some lights and stuff like that. But um, yeah, actually really, really cool design. I like it. Okay, so this one right here is just called Half Track World War II, and it was built by the Colored Crayons. Interesting name, again, but that's fine. Alright, let's go ahead and turn the fans on. Window can actually move a little bit. That's interesting. We've got a supercharger right there. Let's go ahead and increase our throttle so that that works. There we go. And toggle hook. Interesting. Uh, so, obviously the... Uh, the front is open. I don't know why it's open, but it totally is. Uh, and I don't know how we would end up closing it. How do you close it? Ah, oh, there you go, hood. It has a button right there. And presumably on the other sides. There we go. And then the window does actually fold down. That makes sense. All right, let's get it over there with those guys. So, this one is uh, slightly bigger than the other guys right here, but that's all right. Uh, I am struggling to actually drive it properly, but that's fine, don't worry. Here we go. Turning it is a pain in the butt. But that's the same with, like, a lot of these half-tracks. Turning them is annoying. Uh, but here we go. Let's get ourselves parked up next to this. Here we go. And let's turn off the engine. Bosh. All right, turn off the fans. Turn off the supercharger. Lift up the windows. Very nice. Turn off the lights as well. Okay, drop this back down. And let's go have a little look at the crane. So back here we have our control handle. Uh, not sure how this works just yet. Bottom slider, top slider. Uh, is it hooked on? I can't seem to move it just yet. So we have toggle button here. There is a chest on the back. We have a winch in, winch out button for... I don't know where the winch is. For what winch? I don't know what winch this is actually... Where's the winch at? Is it in there? I don't know... It says there's a winch. I, I don't know where the winch is. Is it in here? No. That's like a storage box. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there, but um, yeah, let's get up to here. Uh, we have A and D for left and right, so we can do this. Oh, that wasn't connected. That's the issue. 
Uh, and the crane is actually relatively big. Look at that. Nice. Up and down. We can go down that much. We can go up this much. I can't seem to go any further than that, but that's all right. That's really awesome, actually. Uh, can I boom out? I want to slide it. So, top slider. Oh, no. Bottom slider. Oh, wow. Holy. That allows us to go up way further. And then top slider. It didn't do anything. Oh, it did. It moved it like a tiny amount, I see. Ah, interesting. So, yeah, you can actually use the crane on the back of this thing, obviously. Um, I don't know how you control the actual winches and stuff, because I don't have any buttons for that. But, um, yeah, it looks really good. I actually really, really like it. Now that we've moved it out of the way, let's have a little look in here. We've got some fire extinguishers and stuff. We have... Oh, wow, we've actually got some stuff painted on the top of here, too. Let's go ahead and open this up. And let's see what's inside there. So we got a bunch of stuff in the chest, too. Nice. All right, close that back. Again, though, I really like the scale of this thing. I really like the way that it looks on the front. This definitely looks correct. Um, and yeah, the crane itself looks really cool, too. Good job. Okay, so the next one is very, very similar. This is the HT HTC 28 Heavy Military Half Track with Crane. Um, and that was a mouthful. Uh, it's got a very similar sort of design to it. It's got a very beefy crane looking thing on the back. Let's go ahead and do the starter. Running lights, there we go. Hazard lights, let's go ahead and turn those on for fun. Parking brake off. Let's go. Did we almost pop a wheelie? Look at that. Oh, this thing is sick. Okay, so it turns a little bit better than the previous one, uh, which is lovely. It has a medium gear, so we can go a little bit faster, and it actually has a high gear as well. So you can go even faster. Look at it go! Okay, cool. Let's get ourselves back over to where we need to be. Go and turn off the high gear and turn off the low gear, and get ourselves back home. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and park up next to this guy, uh, and that should be fine. Here we go! Alright, cool. Brake is four. There we go. Nice. Uh, let's turn everything off. Uh, turn the hazard lights off as well, because we can. And let's go back to the crane controls. Crane controls are right here. We've got power. We have lights. Okay, so... Uh, how is this going to work? Is there a button? No. So crane up is one. Oh, it fully uses winches to do this. Oh, that's really awesome. Okay, let me go ahead and disconnect this real quick. There we go. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. But yeah, that's actually really, really cool. It uses this winch up here, this pulley, um, to lift the actual beam up. That's really nice. I like that. It's a little bit less controllable than, you know, normal, but that is awesome. We can turn it to the left. We can turn it to the right. There you go. And we also have buttons for winch in and winch out. How much can it turn? Does it stop here? Oh, you can actually go all the way around. That's sick. That is actually really, really cool. And then when you're done with it, you just go ahead and put it back here. All right. And you boom down. There you go. Parked. Beautiful. Again, it actually has a bunch of stuff on the back right here for equipment. It actually has a winch right there as well, just in case you need an extra one. Uh, and if we go forwards, there is actually a winch on the front too. Uh, it does look like there's a key button. Where you can actually open it so you can get in the engine bay as well. There you go. That is lovely. That is really, really cool. What's this? Winch in, winch power. Very nice. Yeah, again, really cool design. I really like it. Okay, so unfortunately during testing we had some issues and the game actually crashed. Uh, but we are back now and we are going to test this one right here. This is the Keen small half track crane and apparently this thing can actually lift itself up which is awesome it has outriggers on the side so you can actually drop those down and lift them back up look at that they actually fold that that's sick that is so cool um and then we have toggle crane which is interesting crane operator is right here so let's go ahead and try and use this and i don't know let's see if we can actually use it so we can lift up the boom like that there we go uh i don't know I don't know why it's not going down, though. Aha! Left and right is actually this. That makes sense. All right, there we go. Uh, w and S don't actually do anything. So we have a relatively big crane on this. That is nice. Uh, you can lift it up, you can lower it down, and you can turn it from side to side as well, obviously. Now, when you're doing that, obviously you want the outriggers down, so let's pop those down. And, yeah, that's sick. That's really cool. 
So there are two winches. There's one at the top and one at the bottom. Um, what else have we got? What else do we have? We have warning lights. Let's go ahead and put those on. Oh, those on the top. Excellent. Uh, and then we have a lower winch in and out as well, which is... Uh, where is that? Oh, no, wait. That's just the winch on the top, isn't it? Yes. So it's for that one and that one. But yeah, again, it's like a cool little K-car. We have a small winch on the front as well. It's controlled via that. Let's go ahead and try and put this back. A reset button would be awesome. Um, but yeah, that's fine. Let's go ahead and try and just lower this back down into the right location. And that would be brilliant. There we go. Lower it down. That's sick. And I think we are good. All right, outriggers in. There we go, toggle the crane, turn that off. Oh, maybe it does it itself if we do that. I don't know. Anyway, back into the driver's seat. Yes, turn the engine on. Wheel brakes off. We have a first aid kit down there if we need it. Off we go. And yeah, it is a half track, so it has the tracks on the back and the wheels on the front. Look at it go. Nice. We have a slow gear as well, just in case we need it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and press 5. There is a light cycle, so we've got high beams, low beams, and extra high beams, I guess. <laughs> sure. Um, and yeah, this is awesome. We also have indicators too, so if I want to turn right, there's our little indicator on this side. And on the back as well, they're like um, modern cars. Look at that. Interesting. Yeah, it also has a horn. Nice! I don't know if any of the other ones had horns. So does this one win just because it has a horn? Maybe. But yeah, that's a sick vehicle. I actually really, really enjoyed using it. So let's go ahead and park it up real quick. And we'll have a quick little look at the other two. All right, so these guys are having uh, a few issues, as you can see. Uh, I want to check out this one. Oh, no, actually, we'll check out this one first. Uh, I think it's the only one with an actual license plate on it. I don't think anyone else actually did that. I thought that was a nice touch anyway. I forgot to mention as well, that was built by Phil. That was, of course, built by Phil. Yes. Good job. All right, so this one was built by Citrus Pip, and it is having some issues right now. So, uh, oh, it's having some big issues. Let's run around the other side. Apparently, the driver's on this side. So there we go. All right, let's go ahead and close the driver's door. Very nice. Turn on the ignition. Handbrake is off already, so that's fine. Engine's on. Go. Okay. Okay, are we having issues or are we good? The crane is definitely having some issues. It's like turns the outriggers are uh, being bullied by it. But yeah, interesting. So all I really wanted to do with this one is check out the, uh, the actual crane. So let's go ahead and put the brakes on. There we go. Go ahead and do the support legs. And that's fine. So yeah, this is actually one of the runners up. Uh, so we won't go into too much detail with this. But um, I really wanted to check out the crane. Look at that. So we got boom up, we have boom down. We can turn the crane, obviously, all the way around. Um, we have a hook spotlight, apparently, all the way up there. Very nice. And I don't know, can we winch down? That's what I want to do. Winch down. It should be going down right now. Do it. Go down. So there you go. All right, cool. The winch does actually work, and it is uh, going down. That's very, very nice. Uh, we're having some issues with this, I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, and it is one of the only ones with the trailer. This is... Uh, yes. Okay, right. I'm just going to leave that one alone. Let's go to the airport one real quick. And, uh, well, yeah, sure. Okay, this thing right here is called the Half-Tracked Carry Deck, which is a lovely. There's a picture of it actually holding up a tank engine, which is nice. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get inside of this thing. It was built by your toaster, because of course it was. Let's get inside. Ignition on. Close the door. We've got an isolator right there. Engine is slowly starting. It's almost there. There we go. And let's go. Yes. So the crane isn't actually fully attached together just yet. Uh, which is fine. But we will probably have to connect that together. But yeah, this thing looks like a... Uh, like an aircraft vehicle. Also, it's called the carry deck. So I'm assuming you actually put stuff in front of the driver? Right here. That seems crazy, though. That seems really crazy. Anyway, let's go ahead and turn ourselves around. We'll whack on the parking brake. There we go. I'm just going to jump out really quickly to attach this on. There we go. Lift this up. There we go. And now the crane should work possibly a little bit better. 
Let's get back inside. There we go. And... Alright, that's fine. That is fine. One, to change control modes. So now we are actually in crane mode. It has driving mode and crane mode. And you can change between them. So we can lift it up. We can move it from side to side. We can obviously winch in and winch out. Here we go. That is awesome. And what happens if I change back? So we're back into driver's mode now. Uh, it doesn't reset it, but that's okay. That's pretty cool, though. All right, let's go ahead and lower this down if I can. Mm -mm -mm. I don't seem to be able to... Oh, I'm in driver's mode still. Hey, there we go. Nice. Yeah, actually a really, really cool vehicle. I, I, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, one of the things I actually really do like about it is obviously all of the paint blocks. The paint blocks definitely make it look really cool. Uh, the engine is at the back, the exhaust is right there, it just looks awesome. Um, but yeah, it is one of the runners up, unfortunately. But yes, anyway, uh, for now, I'm gonna go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you to everyone that has actually submitted to this. Uh, it was really awesome to see how many there was. Um, unfortunately, there are some issues, obviously. Uh, and if I missed anything with your vehicle, I'm really sorry. But um, that just happens sometimes. But yeah, really, really cool vehicles, guys. Thanks for watching. All of them will be linked down below, including all of the other ones as well. So you guys can check out every single one of them. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.